Shopping for a laptop isn't quite as simple as buying the most expensive machine that you can afford. Some $3,000 laptops are great for gaming, but they have really poor battery life. And some $300 machines are sluggish, but they have batteries that last all day. Here are a few basic tips to make sure you're getting the features that matter the most to you. When you're shopping, start with the operating system. You probably already have a preference, and a lot of this depends on what you do and what you're used to. Windows 10 is the most common, and thanks to robust pen and touchscreen support, it's also the most versatile. Mac OS is a great choice for multimedia editing and synchronizing your digital life with your iPhone and iPad. And Chromebooks are perfect for students. Then, consider the form factor that's right for what you do. Traditional clamshell laptops like this one are great for gaming and typing, and Macs only come as clamshells. If you want something more flexible, two-in-one convertible laptops have touch screens, and they can be propped up like a tent to watch movies or transformed into a tablet. You can get Windows 10 or Chromebook convertibles. You'll also see models whose screens fully separate from a base. They might have flimsy removable keyboards, but they're great for sketching or taking notes, and they're extremely thin and light. Next, you'll want to consider the right screen size for how you work. Around 13 inches is the sweet spot if you're looking for an ultra portable to carry around the house or office every day. These typically weigh three pounds or less. A laptop with a 15 or a 17 inch screen is best if you're replacing a desktop or if you frequently play games or watch movies. 10 to 12 inches is the most common size for detachable tablets, and most gaming systems are 15 or 17 inches. Look at the laptop's internal components. Intel Pentium and Celeron processors are suitable for word processing, but you'll want a Core i5, Core i7, or AMD Ryzen chip for smooth web browsing, video streaming, and multitasking. As a rough rule of thumb, if you're looking at Intel Core chips, the ones ending in U are low power and therefore less powerful than ones that end in H or HQ. Intel Atom chips, which you might see in some very inexpensive laptops, are really only for the most basic tasks. To hit the sweet spot between price and performance, mainstream laptops should have at least 8 gigabytes of memory. But you'll want at least double that if you are gaming or editing multimedia. You should also choose a solid state hard drive, known as an SSD, instead of a regular hard drive whenever possible. Unless you have many 4K movies or thousands of data files, a 256 gigabyte SSD will offer a far more enjoyable computing experience than a one terabyte hard drive, and it'll cost about the same. And if you're a serious gamer or video editor, your laptop must have a discrete graphics chip like one of NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 10 series GPUs. These offer many times the performance of an integrated graphics chip, but remember, if you have a powerful graphics card and a powerful CPU, battery life could really suffer. And that's why gaming laptops tend to have very short battery life. These are just the very basics of laptop shopping. You can dive into detailed testing results and other specs to consider like ports, display resolution, and much more by visiting PCMag.com and searching for our numerous guides to the best laptops.